What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the inside edge of the brow. We need a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We'll draw a curve that comes in and then bend that up. Let's line this up over on the right and do the same thing. Now from the bottom, we're going to curve the brow going up and out towards the side. So bend this up and then out. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. Let's flatten off the edge of the brow with a straight angle line going up towards the top. Now I want to taper that back in and then down towards the inside of the brow. Now you want to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the left side, we're going to step in, draw a half circle. Come all the way down towards the bottom of the eye and pull that up towards the inside corner of the brow. Now I'm going to push the iris towards the inside of the eye. On the top left, let's step in, curve around towards the bottom, and just pull that up on the inside. Let's trace this curve along the inside for the pupil, going all the way around and then up. Let's add a small highlight along the top, going down and up underneath the brow. And it'll fill the bottom of the pupils in black. Let's add a crease in between the eyes. Starting on the left, bend this up, and then down. Now we move down and draw on the top edge of the nose. Starting back over on the left, bend this up, and then down. Now on the sides, curve the nose coming down, and then up on the inside. From the inside, curve this in, and then down toward the center point. Now I'm going to move out to the side and draw the top edge of the mouth. Starting underneath the left eye, curve this down, underneath the tip of the nose, go across and then up towards the right. Let's add a fold across the top, step in, and this up, and then out. And we'll draw the bottom edge of the mouth. Starting back over on the left, come down and in towards the middle, and pull that up on the right. Let's add two lines on the side to separate the teeth and we'll fill in the corners of the mouth. Now I'm going to move out to the side and draw on the cheeks. From the left eye, let's step out, cut the cheek going out, and then bend that in towards the mouth. And we'll connect the inside with a curve coming down underneath the mouth and bend that back up. Now we're going to draw the inside edge of the helmet. Let's start back over on the left, curve this up around the eye, and then bend that down in the center. Go up above the right eye, around, and then bring that down. Now from this point, we're going to step out and draw the top of the head. Let's start on the left. Go all the way up, round up the head, and cross towards the right, and then bring that down. Now from the bottom of the head, we're going to add in those flaps. We we'll start back on the left, curving around the cheek, and then bending that in, round up the bottom, and pull that up underneath the cheek. Let's add a seam coming down the center of the head with a straight line coming down toward that point. Add two small circles on either side. Now from here we draw those two large ears. Let's start on the top left side of the head, bend the ear going out, and then up towards the tip. Let's line this up on the right, going out, and then up. Let's bring the ear coming back in towards this point. Go straight down, and then we'll bend that in.
Now let's add those stripes inside the ear. From the top on the inside, let's step out, follow the curve of the head coming down toward the bottom. I'm just going to taper that back up towards the top. Let's add another stripe. We're going to leave a gap, going out and then down. Then again, just tapering this back up towards the top. Let's add one smaller one on the end. Coming down and then back up. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We're going to start over on the left side underneath the head, put the body going out and then down towards the hip. Go to the right side, come down towards the same height. And then from the hips, draw two straight angle lines coming down and in towards a center point. Let's move up from the hip and draw that again. Move down toward the middle, and then back up. And we'll add two lines on either side. Let's add a curve across the top of the body, going up and then down. And then again, drawing two more lines along the side. Now from the outside of that strap, we'll step in, curves in and then down towards the buckle. Let's go back to that center point, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. And then we'll leave a small gap in between the legs, step over towards the left, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the bottom of the pant, move over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's round out the bottom of the pant, going out and then up. Let's connect the hip to the outside of the pant with a straight angled line. Let's add the knee pad on the outside. We step up, goes down and then in, and goes down towards the bottom. Now we're going to separate the knee pad in half with another curve in the center. Now we're going to go back up underneath the belt and draw a straight angle line coming down towards the knee pad. Let's tuck the legs in underneath the pant. From this inside corner, we'll step out, then this out, and then down towards the heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. We're going to come down and then bend that up. Now I'm going to go to the outside and curve the top of the foot. I'm going to go up, let's bend this down, aiming towards the heel, I'm going to leave a gap on the inside. Let's go back to the top of the foot, bend the leg coming in and up underneath the pant. Now I'm going to go back down and add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. Let's take this curve, step up, and then just trace that across. Now let's go back up to the top and add in the shoulder straps. From the top of the body, we're going to step out, curve around, and then bend that in towards the side of the belt. Now I'm going to draw the left arm holding the laser gun, starting from the top of the strap, then the arm coming down and then out towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to curl around the thumb. We go up and bend that down, round up the thumb, and just pull that back up. Let's add an oval on the side of the thumb. Going out, and then back in. And then we'll fold two more fingers underneath. Starting from the bottom of the top finger, come around and up underneath the thumb. Step down and draw that again. Let's go underneath the thumb on the inside. Draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom. Go across and go straight up underneath the hand. Now we're going to draw a very simple laser gun on top of the hand. Let's start from the top finger, draw a straight line going out towards the end, straight up, and pull this in just on top of the thumb, and we'll bring that straight down. 
Now from the top corner, step down, come in, come down, and pull that out on top of the thumb. Let's wrap the trigger around the finger, go all the way around, and then back in. Let's add a trim on the outside, straight line, and draw two lines along the center of the gun. And then in the middle, draw a straight line coming back. Let's add a circle in this area. And draw a smaller circle on the inside. Now you go back to the inside of the handle, curve the palm coming in and then up. Step down, bend the arm coming in and up behind the body. Let's line up the inside of the arm over on the right side, bend the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, draw a small half circle for the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. Now you can draw three fingers on the right side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, come down and up around that bracket. Step down, go out, and then up. And then the third finger, we're gonna go out, bend the arm, come up and in underneath the head. Now halfway along the top of the left arm, draw the edge of the glove, coming in and then out. And then halfway along the inside of the right arm, go up and out. Let's go back to the left side, step in, draw that same curve, do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to bring the tail coming out on the left side. Let's start from the side of the belt, come down, bend that out, step down, and draw that again. Now going back up to the top, let's curve this up, and then down, and just bend that back up toward the tip. Connect the ends with the curve. And then we'll add some stripes inside the tail. Start from the end, with the curve coming around, leave the gap and just continue up toward the top. And we'll finish off by sanding our art and adding a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and if you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.